Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to another episode on the Truly Bedrock Server. That's right, guys. We're back and we're ready for a brand new adventure. <laughs> so behind me, you will see that I created a little bit of a project board. So Everything behind me is something that needs to get done. And in today's episode, we're finally going to tackle something that I have been saying I'm going to do for about a year now. A year now, I have been saying we're going to make a fishing shack and fishing shack we shall make. <laughs> so I hope you guys are excited because I'm about to cut to a time lapse and we're going to make some magic. All right, I'll see you guys in a second. I hope that you guys enjoyed that time lapse. I know it was a little short and it's actually been a while since I recorded that and a lot has been done since the end. So don't be too shocked by what you see. And of course, we're going to start out with this deck. I mean, so far, I really like how it's turned out. I think since you guys have seen it... We have added the tower, which I really like. It's quite different, but let's take a land right here. So I know that this was supposed to be a fishing shack. And I mean, it's kind of a fishing shack. It's just a big <laughs> fishing shack. But I really like how it looks in this specific area beneath the bend. I think that so far, I'm really happy with it. There is still a lot of work to do. The only thing I have really detailed is the front and part of the back. But as you can see, I added in a lot of details on the outside, but the inside is completely empty. <laughs> so we'll just close this door. But I really like what we have so far as you come around here. Um, I will be doing the ends, but what I want to do is wrap that dock all the way around here. And as you come around here, I feel like what we need to do is add the details on the side just to really match up what we have on the front. So... The first thing, though, I think that needs to happen is we need to even this out because right now this hill goes a little bit too close, I think. So we need to carve out a better shape to give it a more natural gradient down, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So we're just going to come around here and push this back and then of course we'll come in and we'll actually do the terraforming at a later time but for now we just want to give ourselves enough space to uh, really decorate the back I think we're going to add a fireplace as well as maybe a back door or a window not quite sure yet but I think that this whole area really is going to bring things together so 
let's mimic what we have in the front, right? So we're using spruce uh, because I think that it matches the stripped uh, spruce pretty well. And it looks a little bit less fancy, I guess, than the other areas of the base. So I don't know, just for me, I thought that this would be best. Do we want, let's see. Let's put that. And maybe we'll cut out a window right here. I'm not sure yet, but let's add some like shutters. And I think that gives it a pretty good detail. I know it's just a bunch of repeating patterns, but I think that this is gonna look good. So let's continue the same thing um, here with a little bit, although I think the deck landing is right here up top, so we might have to, ugh, do we wanna put that down or do we wanna just knock out part of the deck up there? Um, let's see. Let's take that. Well, for now, we'll just do this. If we have to change it later, it's no big deal. But I really think that that's probably fine. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right, let's do that, add the shutters, and then I think that's it for this area. And then we work on the base. Okay, so now what we need to do is knock out some of these because we want to give the bottom structure some uh, depth and I think, let's see, let's get a spoon, knock some of this back. I think I actually want to bring this back a little bit and I don't really have to worry about things being dark down here because we are on a mushroom island but I might still throw down some torches. <laughs> we'll see. So let's actually, yeah, let's do this just so we can see while we're down here. Um, okay, so do we want to, I think we do. We wanna push this back just a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is add in, um, let's, take you and then replace you. Okay, so sorry. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some bricks on the inside like this and we're gonna give ourselves extra depth. So let's take some of these so that it's not so put together looking, add some cracked stuff, maybe where is, um, do I have stairs on me? Let's, yeah, okay. Add you, the, um, no, let's add it a different direction, so there. And then maybe do, Slabby jabs. So put you there and maybe, maybe adding, um, yeah, I think that gives it a good shape. Let's take a look. And then all we have to do is add in granite and break up the brick. And I think that that'll look really good. I really like how the brick looks um, as the kind of texture. I, it's not something I do very often in my builds, um, especially ones like this, but I just, I kind of got the urge to change up the background texture because a lot of the time I use the same thing to texturize for bases like this, for, for builds like this. It tends to be a lot easier just to use, okay, well, I'm gonna use stone to give depth, but trying to actually do this with a different 
block, like especially if it's a different color palette, uh, it can look really messy. So I'm glad that I took a risk in a creative world because, uh, yeah, this build I had to do in creative. I was struggling so hard, like so hard to get this build done on my own. Just, uh, I think I've been through three versions on the TB server and nothing was turning out. I hated it. And so I just went into creative and played around. I played around with color palettes. I played around with, um, with different styles of building. I thought, you know what, maybe I can go really modern with the village city. And it just, did not look good. <laughs> so I thought, you know what, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our really, um, what, what would you call this? Like rustic style builds. It's what I used to do all the time. It's what I used to love to do. And so once I kind of threw out the idea of trying to do a more fantasy or a more, um, modern style, and I just went with what I know I think it turned out wonderful. I really like this little house. I went on Pinterest, right? And I looked up uh, models. I don't know if any of you have ever done this for your Minecraft builds, but I looked up models. So, you know, like actual figures. And I found one that I really liked the shape of and I tried to do it in Minecraft. And I think it turned out really well. I'm happy with it. And now for the part I have been looking most forward to. I think it's time to get into the interior. It has been so long since I've done interiors and I am, I'm ready. I am ready guys. So what I want to do here is I want to do something <laughs> that I typically do in all of my builds. And if you have been watching me for a while, you know, I make lofts. <laughs> I really, really like making lofts in all of my interiors if I can. I don't know what it is. It's just like, it's almost like signature me at this point. It's like, if, if I don't have a loft in my interior, at least in one of my builds, then I probably didn't build it. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say that this is a little bit challenging in this space because there is very little room up there. But I think that this area right here specifically just screams loft. <laughs> so uh, I think that this is probably enough space for a little bedroom. I mean, it's like I said, it's not a ton of space, but you don't need the most space specifically for bedrooms. So if we hop up here, let's, um, okay. Let's fix some of these little details though, cause they will drive me nuts. Let's, um, there. And let's put that, look at that. Perfect. So what we need in here is I think some structure. So we probably need some more posts to hold this to the ceiling. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. And now that I have grabbed wood, let's see. Um, let's add that. Yeah. And strip that. And I think, yeah, I think that is a perfect amount of space. Now let's put a little ledge and let's, um, do we want, no, no, <laughs> that doesn't work. What are you doing? Let's put it on the inside, just like that. Yeah, I think that's cute. You don't need to access that little area. And then, okay. I'm pretty happy with this. Okay. <laughs> so now it is time to make it pretty. <laughs> 
I know. I know this episode has actually gone on a really long time, I feel like, but I am so ready to get to the prettifying of the area. Also, I, I added a spiral staircase. Um, it goes all the way up. I think we're going to add windows along the way, but once you get up here, you can look out and it's nice. You have this like nice little view. You can, I don't know. It's, it's just a little extra, I guess. Nothing super fancy, but I thought, you know what? Let's have it nice and decorated. So what I need is let's, let's fill this space a little bit. Okay. Uh, what? Just put that there. Something simple, something easy. But I'm pretty happy with it. Let's window. And let's put that on the outside. Instead of having windows on bone blocks, like actual um, like glass panes, because then you can see the underside, and I just don't like that. We're just going to add the... Uh, dark oak slabs. And I think that'll do a pretty decent job. Uh, I can't complain. So let's move on to the bedroom, I think. Yeah. Okay. So let's, uh, do we want to put like a barrel here? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll keep it there for now. So let's get up here. I think that what we're going to do, uh, there's that. Do we want the bed on this side or no? Let's put the bed here. And then let's put a nice. Oh, okay. Forgot <laughs> barrels attached, Jesse. Do. Yep, okay. Bookshelves. What about stairs? Do stairs attached to glass? Yes. <laughs> Frick. Okay, okay. Then we're going to have a floating shelf. Yeah, let's just because I'm pretty sure that slabs do not do not. But, OK, perfect. So do I want a light there or of course, of course, I want a flower. And then let's get a barrel. Sorry, brain is finicky sometimes, but let's break up the texture there. And put you there. Maybe another flower. You know, nice and pretty up here with a painting. Let's see. Let's, <laughs> sure, a creeper over your bed. Everybody wants a creeper staring at you while you sleep. And there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. It's a nice little space. I'm happy with it. Could not ask for anything better. So let's, oh, duh. <laughs> Can't put anything there when there's stairs there. That's, you know, takes up a block. Um, But I really don't like that. I don't like that barrel there at all. Um, What can I do instead? Dead. And you know what? Now that that's there. Uh, okay. Okay. So we need to switch. We need to switch. So let's get rid of you. Put you on this wall. So, <laughs> sorry. Thinking with Jesse. I know. But there you go. I like that. I'm satisfied. And now that the loft is done, I think it's time we tackle this fireplace. And again, if you have been watching me for a while, you will know that I like my funky little fireplaces. I don't know why, I just, I really enjoy making them. So let's give ourselves one with kind of a weird angle, I think. I want something that's not you know, the typical fireplace. So let's maybe do something like this and maybe, hmm, 
Let's see. Let's give ourselves a fun shape. And... Uh, I mean, it's not bad. Alright, let's go like that. <laughs> Sorry. I know I make a lot of weird sounds when I'm making a fireplace or when I'm building in general. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to switch these because why not? So let's put you there. And I'm not sure if I want to do uh, the bottom like diff. Ew, no. Why did I do that? Go away. Fired. <laughs> so if I do something like that, maybe. Um, uh, I feel like something needs to go here, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Mm. I like that there and having it on the bottom feels just so typical. So maybe just fill that space, put that there. And I think what I want to do is I want to get some walls in there. So adding some walls like this and then coming in with mm, something, probably, probably something right there, right? Connect it. Yes, that, that is the look I am going for. I approve so, I think the overall shape of that is really good. I I like that. Maybe I think it's probably time to start knocking out these blocks to give it some more depth behind. I think that's probably the next step. So, let's come back here and Let's break those out, but start shaping the fireplace out here. Um, let's see, something along those lines. And then if we add in something like that, I don't like this. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's a funky little shape that I could get on board with. Um, hmm. Let's head up here and knock out. Yeah, let's knock out those and bring this up. So, oh no. <laughs> Why are you breaking things, Jesse? Let's get rid of that. Okay. There we go. And let's start building up the fireplace up here. I think if we continue the nice shape that we had, I think this will look okay. And I think adding in a actual fire so that we can have that smoke. I, I don't know. I've always liked how that looked. Not everyone uses it and no one like has to, but <laughs> for some reason, I just, I really prefer when my fireplace builds have some natural smoke. Now that we have the campfires, I just think it adds so much. Why not? <laughs> So let's, um, let's see, how do I want to shape this? Maybe something like this. So if I continue it this way and, um, remove, let's see. Let's do that. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm not sure how I want to shape this. Uh, let's come over here. Maybe. Put 
put that there. And then... I know, I have... I have an idea. So if I do that... That... With a little bit of... That? Maybe? No. No. Just no. And there we go. That's better. Much, 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 much better. Okay. I, I can live with that. I like how janky it is. But now I think what we need to do is come over here and build this out a little bit. I think it needs to be wider. Um, yeah. Okay, so now that we have our shape down, now it's time to come in and texturize because the way that it was, it's just too cobblestone. You, you just can't have everything cobblestone, right? So let's come in here. Let's add in some new textures and really break this up, giving it a little bit more of a finished feel. I don't know why sometimes like just adding in different blocks makes it feel a lot more finished. So let's come over to the back and do the same thing. So let's break you. I don't know what it is. Just something about adding in different blocks and changing up the palette makes it feel a lot nicer and i mean there's nothing wrong with people who only do um one block type absolutely i mean i used to do it all the time but now i just i feel weird i feel weird if i don't mix things up and i don't know if it's because i've spent a lot more time doing this stuff now or what it is but it just doesn't feel natural to try <laughs> to do things, I don't know, to do things simply. And I mean, I still find builds that people do like that beautiful. Just for me, it doesn't quite work. Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I really like that. I'm satisfied with how it looks. And with that... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to do some interior work off camera because this episode is already super freaking long. So <laughs> I will come back as soon as I have a finished fishing hunt. All right, guys, it has been many, many. <laughs> it has been many hours, much time has been spent, but I have some things to show you. I'm really excited because it felt so nice to get things just done. Just, just to get things polished. It's been so long since I have had a build that has felt so complete. And it's just, ugh, watch. Go through, shut the door, and look. Ah, we updated the way up and when you come in, it just feels so nice. We have carpets, we have a nice little storage unit. It's just cute. I have used mini blocks. It's just a little armor stand. I did add a little bit of um, detailing here and there, but for the most part, look, I have a kitchenette. <laughs> it's just, it's different. I do need to add a faucet there but I mean there's still some things I want to tweak but for the most part I'm really happy with it look we can sit and we can stare at the fireplace <laughs> I'm just so happy I really like it and for now I think it's like it's complete. There's not a whole lot that I want to add. I think if I'm being nitpicky, there are probably some details that I will add. Maybe, you know, like a, a cushion on the couch or a, a nice little coffee cup or something along those lines. But for now, I really like it. It's just, uh, it looks it looks nice. It looks finished. It looks complete. I, like I said, I can't complain. And these mini block chairs are something that I really like. 
But actually, um, where is, where's the window? One, two, three, four, five. Nope. There. Let's, let's just come through here and let's add in a window. Yeah. Do I have glass on me? <laughs> I like how I just got done saying that I think everything's complete, but it's not. I forgot something. Let's see. Where where would I have put glass? Um glass. Okay. Let's put two of those and let's head back. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. I'm I'm really excited for this build and I think that just Sometimes I'm silly. I, I have to change things when I see them. And I really like that. But yeah, I think I need a sink here. So I think what we're going to do is do I have do I have a cauldron in here? I do. Perfect. Okay. Put a cauldron. And then all I need is a, a tripwire hook. And with that simple addition, I think that, yeah, okay. I, I probably should have done that before. It looks so good. <laughs> I'm not going to toot my own horn, but I really like it. I think that we have done a great job. I cannot complain. Ugh, I'm just so happy. And with that, I think... That means we can mark one thing off of our board. That means the fishing shack is officially done and complete. Ah, one thing down. But <laughs> now that we have been completely extra, I think it's time that we finish off today. It has been a really good episode, a really long episode actually, but I am so thankful if you are still here. I appreciate your face. As always, thank you so much for stopping by. I love your face and I hope that you have a wonderful day. If you you like this video and you like me, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button because it really helps out the channel. And without further ado, I will say goodbye and I'll see you in the next episode of Truly Bedrock. Bye guys.